For more on the Olympics, earlier I spoke with CCTV sports anchor Wong Gong. I asked him about teen swimming sensation. Yeah, she win. Uh, she became the first Chinese swimmer who won two gold medals. She entered the pool dogged by questions about whether or not she is using performance enhancing drugs. And I asked him if her performance can finally silence the critics and the naysayers. Absolutely and totally. And yesterday, as I mentioned before, she uh, came out to say, I am clean. And also, she was strongly backed up today by uh, WADA, namely Road Anti Doping Agency. They came out to say that, yeah, no problem with her test whatsoever after her victory in the 400. And today, of course, she sadly defeated her opponents again. And also, afterwards, we talked to her and she said, basically, you know what, I don't care about the criticism. Maybe I should thank them because of the criticism I got. Actually, I, I'm getting more motivated and because the motivation is stimulated me and I did so well, I'm happy because the only thing I can do is to use my victory to really shatter people's rumors and surely she did it. You know, as she said, that uh, she got no complaint whatsoever, you know, about these um, criticisms she got. As I said, she might be even thankful to them, ironically. She said she, the only thing she might be complaining about is the local food. Uh, jokingly, though, she said because of the fact that she was not completely, she still is probably not completely used to the food here. Uh, to a certain degree, she had to go to a local nearby McDonald's to um, try some food. Obviously, she, need to be, she needs to be careful as far as that food is concerned. <laughs> <laughs> Got to get her adapted to fish and chips since she's in the water so much. Uh, let me also talk about Michael Phelps. Uh, <laughs> you know, we're talking about the darling of China. He's the darling of the United States. A big day for him as well. Indeed, history making here for Michael, really. Finally, you know, after so many tries here, so many failures, uh, so to speak, you know, anything like a silver medal could be considered a failure to Michael, given what he, uh, given, you know, that he uh, achieved so much in Beijing. So, therefore, for him to get a medal here, a gold medal here, is definitely a vindication of his comeback again. I'm so happy for him. It is definitely a day for Americans to be proud of it their idol and their hero. Back to you, Mike. Let me ask you about social media. Um, it's really uh, taken on a life of its own in this games, hasn't it? Well, you know, it's sort of like a double-edged sword, isn't it, really? I mean, it really could help you, especially when you're locked in the village. Uh, you know, you can talk to people, you can reach out, you can tell your fans about what you think about, etc., and so forth. On the other hand, if you write something, you know, provocative or whatever, you could really be in trouble. And, of course, on the other hand, your fans could attack you as well. I'll give an example today, actually, after uh, a disappointing performance, so to speak, by the uh, two... Uh, British uh, uh, diver is Tom uh, Daly and also his training partner uh, he got a fan who wrote him very very viciously saying that you know you failed to live up to the expectations of your dead father and blah 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 you know uh, even he used some cursing words and so forth and of course this fan was arrested this morning he could be prosecuted by British law uh, Tom of course got very upset in that respect I'm just saying that it's unfriendly in that sense and um, you know, when I say it's a double-edged sword, you could reach, uh, you know, by you could reach out by uh, twittering or by doing uh, in Chinese uh, among the Chinese athletes. We call it Weibo, microblogging website. On the other hand, it could, you know, backfire. You need to be very careful, and that's why in the Chinese delegation, uh, they specifically ask each individual team to decide if they want let a. Uh, athletes or players to use Weibo, that is the Twitter-like uh, Chinese Michael Blogging website. For example, the Chinese men's basketball, they are allowed to use that, but for, but for some other teams, no, they are not until the completion of the Olympics, Mike.